Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. Uh, this is my yoga channel, Sensationally Balanced. And today I'm bringing to you yoga for the wrist. So last week I uploaded a video, yoga for the feet, and that seemed to be um, very well received and very well viewed. So um, I think you guys like the idea of having short little videos and offering just uh, specific areas of the body, especially those areas that we might not typically uh, focus on during a full yoga class and kind of just giving some one-on-one -on -one attention to those particular areas. So today, working on our wrist, this will be great for um, if you have issues with carpal tunnel, um, of course, being on our computers so much, and especially, I think, all of last year, a lot of people maybe stayed at home working, and maybe you found yourself even more, spending more time on your computer or on your phone. So um, just uh, our wrists get used in a lot of different ways that we uh, don't really pay attention to. So when we get do some uh, centralized focus stretching on that area, you may really feel this, uh, especially in the wrist. So we'll be working the wrist and the fingers and the hands. Um, mostly all of our poses will be doing sitting down. One pose we'll be doing on um, our hands and knees. No props necessary unless you would like to elevate the hips a little bit. You can always do that. And with any practice, of course, you uh, want to be mindful of any ongoing injuries or um, chronic issues that you've had, especially in the areas of your wrist. So making modifications where necessary. And if it's something isn't feeling really good, then I suggest you just pull back a little bit and modify where you can. All right. So we'll just get started and just doing some regular wrist movements here. So just rotating through the wrist and even here you may be feeling a little something already maybe a little popping going on in the joints god let's just do this two more times one and two good and now we're going to bring our um excuse me our thumbs to the tips of our fingers we're going to work our way down all the fingers so we'll start with our uh, index finger so bringing your thumb your first pad to the nail and then we're just going to rotate through the wrist doing that a few times so I already heard my wrist pop and we want to make this movement more in the wrist so not so much the whole arms so doing your best to keep the arms still making the wrist or the movement excuse me more in the wrist good and then we'll go on to the middle finger so then bending the middle finger your thumb to the nail rotating through here, having all the other fingers extended out. So bringing some energy into the rest of your fingers. Very good. And then we'll move on to the ring finger, doing the same thing. Might feel a little awkward as you move on down the fingers. And now we'll come to the pinky. Good. And now holding here, you're going to reverse your rotation. Yeah, keeping those other fingers extended out. Good. And coming back to the ring finger. And to the middle finger. Very good. And then to the index finger. Nice, and then kind of just open, close the fingers. Nice, all right. Moving on to our next stretch. This one is a little awkward to kind of see, I think, um, I don't know. Sometimes when I do a, a, through Zoom, it's a little confusing for people, so I'm gonna try to make it really clear here. So we'll start with our right hand. You're gonna bring your left thumb to that pinky first, uh, your little knuckle here. So we have all our knuckles right here on top of our hand. You wanna bring that thumb to that pinky knuckle, and then you're gonna wrap your other four fingers around the pinky. So we have our thumb here, the other fingers are wrapping around. 
Good. You're going to bring that elbow in towards you. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, you're going to extend that right arm out, being careful not to hyperextend through the elbow. And then you want to really reach the fingers apart from one another. So we're bringing energy into that hand. The hand is active and we're pressing the palm forward as we gently, gently, gently pull the pinky out and then pull the pinky back towards us. It's just a very gentle stretch here. And then just give a quick check in. Notice if your shoulders are up by your ears, you want to let the shoulders drop down. Good. And now take an inhale. We'll bring the arm back in and then we're going to switch to the ring finger. So bringing that thumb to that knuckle of the ring finger, wrapping the fingers around. And then as you exhale, gently pulling the finger down and back, pressing down through that palm. Again, being careful not to hyperextend through the arm. Good. And then inhale, bring it back in, making our way to the middle finger, doing the same thing. So as you pull that middle finger back or all the fingers back, you want to make sure you're pressing the thumb into that knuckle. Good. Inhale, bring it back, switching to the index finger. Ooh, I always feel this a little bit more through the forearm and the back of the forearm. Good. So be careful not to pull too hard. All right, then we'll make our way to the thumb. This is a little bit more trickier, but we're going to place the thumb on that knuckle still, wrap the fingers around as you exhale, reaching the palm forward. But this time, focus on pulling the thumb out towards the right and then gently back towards you. Yeah. Good. Then release. You can kind of rotate through the wrist. Feel the difference in that hand. All right, we'll move on to the other hand. So now we'll be bringing that right thumb to the left pinky knuckle, wrapping the fingers around the pinky. Take your inhale and then exhale, reaching the hand forward, pressing through that heel of the hand. Fingers nice and active. Good. Inhale, bring it back in. Switching to the ring finger. Exhale as you extend the arm out. And depending how tight the wrist is and your forearm, you may feel this all the way up your arm. I'm feeling it on my left hand. Good. Then inhale, come back to center. We just don't want any sharp shooting pains or anything like that. If you're having that, please pull back a little bit. Kind of ease your way into it. Good. Then inhale, come back. And exhale. Inhale, come back, making our way to the thumb. Gently pulling that thumb out to the side and then towards you. Checking in with the shoulders again. I always have to recheck in. I tend to want to pop up. Good. And then inhale, release. Great job, guys. All right, for our last ones here, we'll come on to our hands and knees. <clears throat> So we just want to make sure that the uh, shoulders are aligned over the wrist here. And for our first wrist exercise, we'll just flip the hand. So you're going to turn the fingers in toward you and then pressing the palm of the hand down. So turning both hands in and gently pressing through the heel of that hand to the floor. If this is a little bit too intense, you can send the hips back a little bit, kind of peel the hands up. So you're peeling the heel of the hand up. And then maybe you can make your way down. And we'll just hold here for two more breaths. Last breath. Nicely done. We'll slowly flip the hands back around. You can always rotate through the wrist again. This can be a little intense. All right, then from here, we're going to flip the palms. So the palms are going to be facing up. The tops of the hands are going to be down on 
the mat or the floor. And we'll just do one hand at a time. And you may feel a little difference here. This is some uh, little bit of curiosity you can get into with this wrist stretch here. You're sending the hips back a bit, feeling that a little bit deeper into the top of your hand, the top of the wrist. It doesn't take a big movement here to feel that. Good, one more breath here. Make your way back forward if you sent the hips back a bit and lifting that wrist, rotating through the hand and the wrist. And then we'll make our way over to the right hand. Fingers in facing you, top of the hand to the mat or to the floor. Holding here for a few breaths. Maybe you choose to send the hips back, coming a little deeper into this stretch. Great, last breath here. Good, sending the hips back if you sent them back or forward and rotating through that wrist. Very good. And then we'll just cross at the ankles or you can swing the feet over to one side and make our way back to the front. And that's concludes our yoga for the wrist. I hope that you really felt that and that it brings some release if you have any tension or any strain going on in the wrist and or also just bring your uh, attention to that your wrist needed some yoga. So namaste everybody. Have a great day. Peace.